Hello everyone, welcome to Lost Bench Lizana. Now we are going to discuss about database management system. Database management system, shortly known as DBMS, when we manage the database with its appropriate software, then it's called database management system. Database means it's a collection of related data. Data which defines the raw facts or real time object, it's processed and produced an information. Consider when we pass the request from client to web server through URL, it passes on to the master. It's a database server provide the response to the web server which in turn passed on to the client. The same will be synchronized to the slave, uh, slave from the master. Now, when the web server didn't get the response to the master, it will contact the slave and get the necessary information and passes it on to client. Consider the master has production environment and slave was disaster required. When a situation arrives that the master isn't responding due to technical difficulties or natural calamities, then the web server will directly contact disaster recovery for smooth operations of live environment. So, database system provide interface between user and database to ensure the data consistently organized and easy to access. DBMS is a collection of programs that manipulate database and it's enabled to use it to create and manage database. Here, stores data in such a way that becomes easy to retrieve, manipulate and produce information. Famous two database softwares are MySQL, Oracle and Microsoft SQL Server. The users of DBMS can be broadly categorized as admin, designer and end user. Administrator they are responsible for maintaining and administrating the database. They also create access, create access profile and apply limitation to the users to maintain isolation and enforce security. They are also responsible for maintaining DBMS resources like uh, system license, required tools and other software and hardware related maintenance. Designers, group of people who actually work on the designing part designing part of the database they are called designers they should keep identify and design whole set of entities relation constraints and views end user those who actually get the benefits of having dbms they call the end users end users can range from simple viewers who pay attention to logger market rates of uh, rates to sophisticated users such as business analysis dbms to provide users and programmers to systematically do read, update, create and delete a data. Database administrator who can uh, use sub specialized softwares to store and organize the data in database system. Those are called database administrator. They direct all activities related to organizations and database. Without database administrator could not successfully complete business activities. Database administrators also do capacity planning of database, database design migration and backup recovery. Also they do installation, configuration of softwares, performance monitoring of database and security management. Characteristics of DBMS. It's the first characteristic is real world entity. DBMS is more realistic and uses a real world entities to design its architecture. It uses the behavior and attributes too. For example, in student database, here the student is an entity and uh, there it's having student ID, name, login, age, GPA. Those are the attributes of the student. Those are all those things are stored in a table format here. It's a second characteristic is variability. DBMS is equipped with query language which makes more efficient to retrieve and manipulate a data. A user can apply as uh, many as different filtering options as required to retrieve a set of data here. Next characteristic is redundancy control. Next characteristic is redundancy control. It follows normalization rules which means it is a split in relation when any attributes having redundancy in values then it is apply the normalization rules here. 
access control it's related to accessing permission which means uh, how much data will be accessible by the user that limitation will be fixed by DBA that is it's a database administrator next one is consistency it's a state where every relation in database remains consistent there exist method and techniques which can detect attempt of leaving database in, con in inconsistent state. Next one is backup and migrate. Every database have a method to export and import a data, which means as a database server have the ability to take a backup and migrate the data here. Multiple user interface. DB must support multiple users to access and uh, allow them to get uh, manipulate the data and accessing the data here as a property it means it's a it's broadly says it's a a means it's atomicity consistency isolation and durability those concepts are applied on transaction which manipulate data in a database final one is security it's a DBMS offers many different levels of security features which enables many, uh, multiple users to have different views with the different features. For example, a user in a sales department cannot uh, see the data that belong to the purchase department. Additionally, it can also be managed how much data of the sales department should be displayed. DBMS used in lots of it. Here I will mention some of them. In bank management, it's used in business organization, used in manufacturing field, education field, medical field, and driving reservation field. Thank you for watching.